The son of renowned freedom fighter, pro-democracy publisher, and Hong Kong-based Jimmy Lai is calling for U.S. Congress intervention to help secure the release of his father sitting in a Hong Kong jail over contrived and widely condemned subversion charges. Liam Scott reports for VOA in Washington, D.C. The son of imprisoned Hong Kong publisher Jimmy Lai was in Washington this month. Sebastian Lai made his father's case to U.S. lawmakers. The first time I realized I was taller than my dad, I was 13. But I always knew that I wasn't stronger than him. Years of unjust imprisonment have taken their toll on his father, Sebastian Lai says. Given his age, given the fact that he is in the conditions that he's in, um, there's a danger to his life. And, and he could, you know, it, it, it breaks my heart to say this, but he could pass away at any, at any moment. Held in solitary confinement since late 2020, the 76-year-old Lai is on trial under Hong Kong's national security law. The founder of the now shuttered Apple Daily newspaper denies the charges of collusion with foreign forces and sedition. The United States, Britain, and international observers have condemned the trial. Sebastian Lai and his father's international legal team say Washington's words matter. I think th there is a period um, before the end of his trial where we could put a lot more pressure on the Hong Kong government and, and eventually see my father released before he, you know, before he passes away in prison. International pressure is the only way to secure Lai's release, says Keelan Gallagher. The head of Lai's international legal team says there's no more rule of law in Hong Kong. He's someone who could have left Hong Kong at any time, could be having a lovely life living in Washington or living in London or living in Paris, and he chose to stay and stand up for what was right in Hong Kong. And now it's time we stand up for him. Analysts point to Lai's case as emblematic of the rapid decline of media freedoms in Hong Kong since it enacted the national security law in 2020. The country has fallen from 73 to 135 out of 180 countries and territories in the World Press Freedom Index. It's uh, horrifying to see that happen so quickly. And we've just seen freedoms um, and liberties, which Hong Kongers have taken for granted for a very long time, just be decimated. Despite international criticism, Hong Kong officials say Lai will receive a fair trial. In a statement to VOA, China's Washington embassy claimed the publisher tried to destabilize Hong Kong. Lai's international legal team rejects that claim. Members of Congress, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, have joined calls for Lai's release. Not only do we remember, we exalt, we lift up the sacrifice of Jimmy Lai. Sebastian says he welcomes the support and tries to stay optimistic. I'm sure I'll see my father again and I won't stop until he is free. Lai's trial is set to resume in November. Liam Scott, VOA News.